All right, guys, today we are finally back to making videos in a new location and things are going to be probably a little bit subject to change because I'm still figuring out my whole kind of setup for videos. However, today I wanted to go over for my first video in what feels like forever. Um, we're going to be going over. We're going to be going over a prototype knife from Northern Knives or Three Dog Knives. So hopefully you guys can see this. This is 3DK and I'm not entirely sure what they're going to name this knife because it is still a prototype and you guys can probably tell, you know, it's a little bit rough around the edges um, if you look real up close and personal, but this is a functioning prototype of a knife that they are working with another Alaskan designer of uh, Barrett Knives and so that is his logo there but you guys can see this is what the functional prototype of this knife will look like and overall um, it's pretty darn close to completion so today i thought we'd go over it this is technically one of my youtube friends down here in anchorage this is technically his knife but he's letting me borrow it go through it and talk about it a little bit because like i said there's not a whole a lot of these really out in existence so i thought it'd be fun and cool to cover this one so first off, this piece of steel, this big slab of steel, is made out of 52100, which is a new steel for um, Three Dog Knives. They haven't used it previously, and I'm not 100% sure why they chose to go with 52100 for this one. However, 52100, as I'm sure most of you guys are fairly familiar with, is a really good high-speed ball-bearing steel. It's been around since about, I think, the World War II, so like 1940s time frame uh, was when it was first introduced. And so it is definitely uh, things to keep in mind with 52100, which is what they said the steel for this knife will be, is it definitely is not corrosion resistant because 52100 is a uh, tool steel. So it's, you know, definitely has a little bit of chromium, but definitely not much. And as you guys can see, there's already just a little bit of patina on this guy. So it definitely is one you have to watch out for in that regard. However, because it is a really tough steel, it does allow you to really put a lot of abuse on the blade. Now, I do think overall the aesthetics of this knife are pretty freaking cool. You have this really nice um, harpoon styled tip to it and <clears throat> in an almost uh, like Tonto styled, just very upswept tip. So if you see um, like on a more traditional knife, even though this is a recurve, you know, you have maybe a more gentle slope to the tip, but on this guy, it is very much um, Tonto-esque. So it's a very sharp upsweep. And I think it's just a really awesome aesthetic balanced well with this handle. And this handle is almost kind of, what it reminds me a lot of is like the old school uh, uh, butcher knives or just um, like you're kind of I'm trying to remember what they're called they used to be made by Ontario Knife Company but they are essentially just you know like kitchen butcher knives very reminiscent of that style and the handle now you do have this kind of uh, almost Rocky Mountain tread or whatever you'd like to call it kind of grooved uh, micarta and I really do dig that it gives it a lot like a ton of traction and I think that's something that I really really dig um, when it comes to when it comes to um, micarta handles. I think there's a lot of emphasis to make micarta handles look really pretty and really gorgeous and you know polished but where micarta really shines is just in being absolutely cut into dug into so that it gives you that really solid grip. Now talking about grip you do have a little bit of jimping up here. It's pretty spaced out and this is the type of jimping that I kind of like like I'm not a huge fan of jimping but I like this style of jimping if I must have it because this isn't like super tight it's not sharp it's very rounded so does it give you some extra traction sure but do you have to use it at all like no you can totally just set your thumb here or even press into it and it's not really going to bite you back now they do have some forward jimping here and i believe because this was designed to be a hunting styled knife as you can see where my finger falls i believe that this was supposed to be maybe not quite like jimping but kind of an indicator um, similar to how um, bark river knives has done on some of their knives where it's more of like 
like an indicator for finger placement. So it's like where you can set or where you're supposed to set your pointer finger if you're going to be like, let's say, trying to skin out an animal and you peel back their hide and you know you're working through it. So I believe this is more of an indicator portion and not really designed to be like full on jimping for traction because as you can see, these are very large um, cutouts here. So they're not really gonna provide like much traction, but they do serve very well in their purpose. And I think once again, blending in with the harpoon tip here, like you really get locked into a nice area where you can, you know, just bring very naturally the forward point of this blade in a sweeping motion. So I think overall for its objective to be kind of a well-rounded hunting slash survival knife, it works well in that regard. Now this blade is close to a quarter inch thick, 52100, but one thing I will say, initially I was a little bit detracted by the thickness of this blade because I was like, it's a little bit thicker than I like but if depending on like what you want and what you need I do actually like this thickness because of the fact that three dog knives or 3dk has chosen to go with a very very high flat grind like this is almost this is definitely approaching full flat grind territory you have a little bit of you know a flat here so I actually kind of like that because you can put it on like a wicked edge and it'll hold it very well but like I said, this is essentially a full flat grind. So you have this much space and this thing's about two inches wide, uh, maybe about like an inch and a half, but two and a half or two inches to about an inch and a half wide. So very, very wide blade. And so honestly, when you get down to this cutting edge, like it might not show up best in camera or on camera, but when you get down to the cutting edge, you have plenty of space for that blade to thin out. So the actual thickness behind blade is pretty darn thin. And so I do like the fact that this is a very high flat grind and that it gives it plenty of time to really thin out along that very cutting edge. So while it does start out thick and it feels very hefty in hand and certainly I think you could actually choke back like right around the um, uh, aft portion of the blade and actually do some pretty good chopping work with it. I do think that honestly um, it does have some good slicing characteristics to it as well because of the fact that it has so much time to thin out. So overall, um, what do I think of this prototype? I think it's pretty cool. I definitely am looking forward I'm definitely looking forward to picking one up myself. Once again, these are prototypes still, so there's none in circulation. You can't really buy them. I almost feel bad because here of late on my channel, I've been showing off a lot of prototype knives from different makers and stuff. So it's like, hey, here's all these cool knives you can't own, even if you really, really wanted to. But I am really excited and I do love showing these prototypes because it's like these are knives that will become available, especially for sure this one's absolutely gonna become available because three, UK definitely has the manufacturing capacity and capability to make knives. So this is definitely a reality. Um, and that's why I feel pretty comfortable showing it off and showcasing it is that like this is going to be brought to bear and it's going to be pretty cool. So overall, I think it's really cool. I also like the fact uh, that with this knife, they chose to work with a fellow Alaskan um, you know, knife maker. So someone who knows how to make knives, but is also an Alaskan experienced you know, like hunter, outdoorsman. And so you have their knowledge kind of blending into this knife. And uh, I think the last point really to it is that you know 3dk loves to throw their touches of flair and style so that's why you th see things like the swedge and harpoon and stuff like that so i think it's uh, just a really cool blade and i'm definitely excited to see chuk is going to take this uh, caribou hunting and really put it through its paces so i unfortunately will not be able to put it through as many paces because i only have like four days with it so i have to get some pictures uh, have a little bit of fun with it but i will not unfortunately be able to really test it out because I have like three or four days to, to uh, you know, like film or make some footage with it. So unfortunately, you guys won't be able to see this particular prototype in use on my channel, but I will leave a description or a link in the description below and maybe like a card around here where you guys can go to Chook's channel and check this knife out as he uses it. So anyways, guys, I just wanted to bring you some content on this blade because I know you guys love fixed blade content and uh, I think this is a really cool, really neat prototype for sure. So Anyways, guys, hopefully you enjoyed the video. As always, God bless, and I'm out.